Hi, hello. Welcome back to this new episode of Career Guidance. If you are interested in computer science, what is the future waiting for you? Of course, in 11th and 12th, you went for computer science group and you studied well and your computer science mark is above all other subject marks. Now you want to go for computer science and shoot something you loved very much. The computer science becomes B-Tech, information technology, computer application, you know about BCA, MCA all the engineering groups, etc. But actually, what is waiting in at the other side of the river, that is after the studies, when you go that side, you can note so many new types of jobs have come <clears throat> for the computer aspirant. Computer programmer you can become, tester, hardware networking engineer, computer aided designing engineer, 3D printing, you can go for cyber security. It's a very great area in the police force today. Cyber security is an area in every corporate sector. They are having one cyber security cell. You can go for digital accounting. Nobody is using accountancy books nowadays, notebooks. They go only for digital, tally, etc., etc. Design an analyst, you can become. Algorithm creator, you can become. You can become a computational mathematician. You can also become a great specialist in artificial intelligence. Data analyst job is waiting for you. You can become even software developer. All these things put together is waiting. What are the courses you can take? Sir, I'm not going for B. I'm going for BCA. Is it all right? All right. Bachelor in computer application. It is believed that it is equivalent to BTEC and B. It in actually, in IT field, in three years you can enter, while a BE fellow can enter only after four years. That is a core advantage of BCA. BTEC in computer science, four-year course, a very important course that can give you software as well as hardware. When you talk about BE, new areas have come. For example, BE cloud computing. It's an entirely new area, which even during the final year, he may become a part-time Python fellow. Now, visualization technology has come. The concepts and modeling designs have come. Developmental computer science have come. Cloud architecture and cloud service developer. These are all the posts waiting for you. You can also become a cloud support engineer. And if you are going to take BTEC computer science, with specialization in full stack development, web tech, front end and back end technologist you can become. There is a neutral network, signal processing also coming up. You can become control, data mining and language progression, test miner, BTECs. In computer science, 
with specialization of artificial intelligence is today a very leading subject when we talk about computer science we talk also about beta computer science it is from the specialization of blockchain technology you can enter the digital accountancy it is for cryptocurrencies bitcoins etc etc there is computer programmer you can become ap there is a post application programmer there is a database administrator computer system analyst is a beautiful area where you complete your computer science in be there is a computer data scientist you can also become a web developer full stack developer computer science engineer artificial intelligence engineer big data analyst these are all posts waiting for you when you complete your engineering or bca mca etc what are the institutes in india that are leading in computer science studies tapar institute of engineering and technology in batiala is the number one institute in india today iit gargapur bangalore bombay delhi iit madras these are all very leading institutes in btech when you talk about indian statistical institute kolkata javadapur university in kolkata bits bilani iit gauhati these are all the places that have more than 18 courses along with the computer science you can have dual courses to complete with b btech national institute of technology in roorkela is a beautiful institute to study btech computer science national institute of technology trichinopoly another wonderful institute netaji subhash chandra bos institute of technology in delhi there is something special about this institute because when you enter and you go to the third year itself you are going to be the maker of india's leading you know intelligent uh, computers new type of techno computer technology they are having a link with the uh, indian drdo and other institutes there is sastra tanjavur you know very well that institute it is also a very leading engineering institute in tamil nadu the velur institute of technology is another leading institute in tamil nadu all engineering colleges nowadays have linked with anna university have the capacity to make you into a great engineer in computer science when you talk about nit iit you have to go for j triple e exam j double e is a main exam it itself is enough to enter into great universities in india there is something called cuet exam that exam you should take conducted by the central government to go for any central government universities to do your bca mca etc there is something called bsc computer science bsc computer science also is a core area where there are pg studies very easily available before the be students complete and go for one internship you can complete pg with the msc computer science and become a collaborator of software engineers and that is giving you a more advantage of become a great computer engineer make our india proud all the best